All right, beta test 001 on advanced ray tracing, sharpening contrast, and details on RTX uh, graphics cards. And this is specifically for 4K and 8K resolution scaling on DLSS level 2, probably DLS level 3 on the GPU over it. So what we're looking at right now is an enhanced view of the specific visualizations on ray tracing so as you can see the shadows filter it directly on the monitor and basically from the monitor specifically it is showcasing all the little data and yeah it's, it's working pretty smoothly with DLSS2 that's looking at the biggest win that you can do from the constant ray tracing effects. Um, and that is only with RTX graphics cards, unfortunately. So, anything from a GTX NVIDIA graphics card will not work as well. So, let's look at the fundamentals of how I got to this point, just in case I forget. And let's turn everything off. So, basically, this is everything off right now. And everything looks dull, everything does look a little bit in tune with the shadows and lighting effects on the floor as the characters go across. But, um, it's very very different when we have to look at it from that perspective. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not really liking this after enhancing it on RTX, so after enhancing it on those specific features, there, there's a huge subtle difference between the color ratios. So let's see it from the color ratio perspective on advanced RTX settings with your GPU. And specifically, not to forget, so we know I did some customizations on here for special effects, color, and sharpen. But today, I want to actually look at this and see the pros and cons of this just to make it look a little bit more advanced. Okay that's not really coming around um let's turn it off let's see if that works out right now all right it was still at a freeze frame but now it's generically moving because i restored it to default so let's go and do the advanced filterizations and i think i did it on level two so to add a filter specifically on this we tried the add filter and now we're going to add the details so the filter that we are going to add to the rtx the ray tracing well elevated superior effects is details and sharpen so on sharpen we just have intensity at 14 and film grain at 47 and this is basically for any uh g-sync monitors so any nvidia g-sync monitors will accept these changes so it can be at f HD 144 Hertz on an active S-Sync or G-Sync monitor. So specifically we need to do that to actually get not only higher frames but a higher resolution in 8K when actually projecting it to a massive 4 panel 80 inch TV or 175 inch TV on a big screen display. So right now I've increased the sharpness to 35, clarity to the specification of 100% in HDR toning. So let's see how it does look with HDR toning down. And that's how it looks. That's how dull and saturated the game actually was before looking into the details features right here. So if I want to make clarity and look at the clarity setting, you can see it scale from a very, very dull background to a very intense light background where all the colors are very visible and we just want to move it not to a hundred percent but probably at 85 percent or 80 somewhere throughout the 80s not to burn out the GPU head and specifically we don't want all the fans to be on overdrive so look at this the color is phenomenal on here and even if I reset the settings this is a big Look at the color volumes and difference. So I'm I'm quite happy with that. It actually feels faster in gameplay when I do that. Okay, that's yeah, so 
looking at that and detail, this is phenomenal. Good. And look at the ray tracing effects. You can see all the reflections, all the specific um, boost in FPS mode that throws. The reflections off the camera angles are actually looking faster with this enabled. Yeah, that's a, that's a big thing when it comes to all of this special ray tracing effects. Alright, so this is a great beta test right now with advanced features on the NVIDIA RTX GPU panels for the GeForce experience. Nice.